What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that sub button and shout out to my gang. Gang, gang. Man, after this video, you guys are going to be woke to the scum that is going on right now. Let's get into it. So for the people that don't know what's going on right now, Post Malone's rock star beat out Cardi B's Bodak Yellow. Now, of course, all the ladies out there that have been jamming Bodak Yellow, they probably ain't too happy right now, but Rockstar is a pretty good song. And when I first heard the song, I knew it was going to be a hit. And I first heard Post Malone preview this song on Twitter like either months ago or a year ago, and I forgot about it. Then I heard it again, and I'm like, yo, where is that song? Then he drops it, and the thing just takes off. And I just couldn't stop listening to it. So there's articles going on right now saying that Post Malone's label probably pulled some scummy business to get him to the number one spot. And let me tell you guys what's going on. The past few weeks, YouTube has been making moves, of course, to partner up with the Billboard so that way streams will now equal album sales. Now, you guys may say, Tom, like, didn't streams always equal album sales? And it's hard to really explain that because... From what I've saw, streams did equal song plays, but now they're pushing streams into album sales. So what the articles are alleging is that Post Malone's label, maybe even Post Malone did this as well, put out a loop of the hook of Rockstar. You guys know the hook, right? It's very catchy on YouTube. And what they did was they took the chorus and they just looped it into like a two to three minute song. So the same thing keeps playing over and over and over. Now, keep this in mind. This isn't the full song or nothing like that. This is just a loop that they put in a YouTube video. Now, you guys may say, dumb, like, like, why does this even matter? Why does this even matter? Let me explain to you why it matters. It matters because when this song was dropped, of course, a lot of people are going to rush to YouTube to try to find it for free, right? So by doing that, they gave this video millions and millions and millions of views now this video got so many freaking views it helped post malone make it to the number one spot now we all know scum when we see it on youtube right usually when a video has a bunch of dislikes the person normally does what they disable the dislikes on the video right and you may also see them disable comments well that's exactly what the label did and the video just gets views and people just continue to click on the video because it shows up on the search engine whenever you're looking for Post Malone Rockstar. You're not even getting the full song. You're getting a loop. But guess what? These 42 million plays are counting towards sales. So what happened was it pushed the song to the number one spot. I would assume that Cardi B's record label, they're not too happy about it. I would assume that Cardi B's not too happy about it. We're talking about 42 million YouTube plays on a video. That's not even the real song, but it contribute to the sales that pushed it to number one. Now, pretty much they created the biggest clickbait and misleading tag of all times because people that thought they were going to get the actual song all they got was a loop. Man, you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. How do you guys feel about this, man? Do you think this is a foul move? I mean, these guys, they disabled the dislike feature and the comment section for a reason. They knew they were getting hate. They knew what they were doing was wrong, but they disabled it. 